I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial and overview of one of the new features for uh, Blender 4.3 which is currently in alpha. One of the things that we'll probably experience when playing around with an alpha version of Blender is finding new tools, uh, new tools and features that uh, wasn't there before and that's the case with me. I was playing around with Blender 4.3 last week and I just found a section on the user interface that is completely new. I never saw that before. Uh, let me show you where, uh, exactly where it is. It's under the render settings. If you open, this is Blender 4.2. I just want to make a quick comparison. If I expand here the color management, let me place this up. Color management. And if I'm coming here, this is 4.3 alpha. Let me expand the color management and move it up so it will be easier for you to see. Now, if we compare those two, you can see that we have a new section here with a white balance. This is not in Blender 4.2. Uh, what can we do with this white balance? Uh, white balance here is to change the color or the mood of your camera. You can add some more realism to your, uh, realism to your camera. Let me expand this and show you some test renders. If I start rendering with uh, this is uh by the way it works for both uh, eve and cycles you will see that we have the white balance here for cycles no problem using either one of them i have this simple scene just an area light if i start rendering let me render from the viewport and i don't have the white balance enabled if i enable my white balance I can now control the temperature, the color of my uh, output, the camera, uh, with a scale in Kelvin. For instance, if I want something uh, like 2000 Kelvin, it will go closer to a blue color, to a blue color, 12,000 Kelvin. It will go to a more warm color. You can control the temperature of your, of your lights. We even have some presets. You can choose from here. If you are used to work with cameras, you will probably feel that those presets here, they are familiar. We have some LED lights. Depending on what you are trying to do with Blender, you might be using one of those presets here for your renders. And this is it. This is just a simple uh, example of uh, one of the new features for Blender 4.3. Uh, what if you want to try that? Uh, well, if you want to download Blender 4.3 Alpha, let me show you exactly how you can do that. And to download Blender 4.3 Alpha, you can open the blender.org website go into download, scroll down, look here for download Blender Experimental and choose the appropriate version based on your processor and, uh, and system. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is alpha software, so it's uh, under heavy development and it will probably have a few bugs. So I, don't, I do not recommend using Blender 4.3 alpha at this moment for anything that is critical, like a paid job or something that you have to deliver uh, in a short term. And besides downloading Blender 4.3 Alpha, in case you want to learn more about how to use this white balance uh, feature, I will share some links in the description. Uh, for instance, this one here, which is an article that explains how to use the white balance to create different moods for your image based on the Kelvin temperature that you uh, pick for the white balance. I will place this uh, scale in case you want to use a reference what is the temperature and the resulting color. And since this is a new feature, I already have here some uh, data regarding the release notes for Blender 4.3. It's just some brief information about the feature, how it came up, and uh, it will take you to this article, which is the commit for this feature. 
And this is it. I hope you liked this and you can start using this uh, white balance control for your renders. Uh, if you think this video is uh, useful, it can help others, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with more new features of, of Blender 4.3. See you next time. Bye.